Alright gang, welcome back to our 200 horsepower challenge on Calmlands. You join me, it is now January. Uh, it did snow, uh, obviously as you saw towards the end of the last episode, it snowed overnight, so we've got a little bit of frost dew on the, on the crops here, but not too bad. Now, uh, we don't have to fertilize this entire field. Uh, we do have to fertilize a good portion of it for the second application, but we don't have to fertilize the whole field. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, we do need to put down uh, some herbicide on part of the field though. Uh, part of the field that was already there that we did not expand or cultivate previously. So, uh, we do have some things to accomplish here. But, for the most part, today is actually a relatively light day. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's not a whole lot for us to do today. We need to do uh, this field fertilize, herbicide this field. Uh, we need to get the rest of this field harvested, which I've got the worker going there. Uh, we need to drill this field, and then obviously re-drill that field there. But other than that... That's really all we have to do today. So more than likely what's going to occur, uh, we have to sell some things. Obviously, we haven't done that for a while. I've been mentioning we need to sell some uh, products that we have that are ready uh, that we don't have on auto sell. So we need to sell those. So we'll sell those today. We need to give the corn, uh, the fish farm, some more mineral feed, uh, which we have plenty of. I just have to go over there and pick it up and put it into the actual um, grate so it'll actually collect it. Uh, so we got to do that. But there are things we need to sell today. There are uh, some soup that we need to sell today. The ice cream we need to sell today. Uh, the pancakes, I believe, are also good to sell today. Uh, so we got some things to sell. So we'll make some money. And what we'll end up probably doing with that money is taking it and buying uh, that plot of land over there. That's the one I've decided on. And we'll probably begin uh, the initial stages, at least, of doing our... Uh, Grapes, so pretty excited about this. I've never re well I've, I shouldn't say I've never I'd, I've done it one time before but it, it has been a while admittingly. It's been a while uh, it was When this game came out uh, when the DLC for it came out um, Well, actually, I don't even remember if it was on the DLC or not. I don't think it was Anyway, whatever you get what I mean. It's been a while. It's been around when this game came out uh, This is I've since I've done the grapes the actual grape uh, process, not just utilizing a production for grapes, right? Productions are much easier, admittedly. I will, I will fully admit that they are much easier uh, than having to do the path of, of the the realistic. Well, I say realistic, the the way that the game tells you you should be doing it. Um, but regardless, regardless, we're going to uh, we're going to do it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. And like I said, that likely um, will be the final um, bit of this series. Uh, just because Crustu seems like he's he's written ready to complete his, I believe, Northern Farm Sims on the on the same path. So um, I think it just makes sense from for me and from my perspective to kind of follow along with those with those gang. So with the gang there, I should say. All right, well, it looks like the worker is full again with uh, red beets, so we need to uh, clean that up a little bit. So we'll do that here in just a second. Uh, then we've got to go get some herbicide um, and fill up this tank with herbicide so we can spray this field. If I turn the weeds on, you can see there's a good section there that uh, needs some herbicide. So we're going to have to do that as well. I'm going to come back through here, touch up a little bit of this area here. I don't, uh, I don't really... I think it's going to be that big of a, of a difference, but I do want to go ahead and get it taken care of anyway. Since we're already here, might as well do it, right? <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, at the time of this recording, I literally just recently got back uh, from my off-the-grid trip. Which was fun, right? So I was in uh, Red River Gorge, which is, if you don't know where that is, it's basically... Pretty close to the edge of uh, Tennessee, kind of the beginning stages, at least from Kentucky's perspective, of like the Appalachian Mountains, um, Smoky Mountains, that kind of stuff, right? So if you know that at all, that's, that's kind of where it is. Um, it's a bigger area than you expect, but it's also not that big. Uh, but there are many, many areas within that that are off-grid. And what I mean by that is you, you really don't have access to any kind of... Um, in internet, 
uh, service, whatever, whatsoever. Uh, so sometimes it's a little difficult to uh, to be able to answer and reply to all of you. So I apologize if it has taken me longer than you typically are used to uh, to get a reply from me. That's the main reason why, right? So. Alright, I've got some other ideas I want to try. I don't know if it's going to work or not uh, as well for over here uh, for the yard, but I probably won't if I'm honest with you, but I'm, I'm going to continue to think about it and consider it, I guess is what I should say. Alright, so that's full of herbicide. Let's jump into... Where's our Landini at? I believe it's the Landini. Uh, there it is. Perfect. Jump to the Landini here. Whoopee Yui. Or as my Minnesota friends call it, with a bitch. Not sure why they call it that, but that's what they call it. Get this sucker unloaded. Alright. We're going to continue doing their process there. Um, we did, looks like we did actually drill that field. I forgot that we did drill that field, didn't we? We, we had, well, we set a worker on drilling it, um, at the end of the last episode. It's been a couple weeks. Give me a, give me a, well, not a couple weeks. It's been about a week and a half, so give me a break. I should have limed it, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, so we've got beets growing there, but this needs fertilized the second time, so I guess I should have did, did that, but, uh, oh well. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. All right, so let's go get that herbicide. Let's herbicide this sunflower field up real quick. Shouldn't take long at all. And then uh, we'll have to fertilize that other field of root crops. Just kind of leaving stuff all over the place right now. I don't like it. I need to need to clean it up. I've got a little bit of OCD about uh, stuff just being laying around everywhere. But even though that's that's kind of been the way it's been for a little bit, I do have OCD about it. I'm letting you know that now. It kind of drives me crazy. So I've got to get all this cleaned up. It's been a number of episodes now. It's time to clean it up. Alright, so I went a little bit too far there, it looks like. That'll work. A little bit over, but that'll work. So we'll put a quick time lapse in here, gang. We're going to get this done, uh, and then I'll be back with you here shortly.
working. That was a bit of a longer time lapse than what I said. I said it was going to be a short time lapse, but I decided, you know what, let's just get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, and that's what we did, right? So we got all the, uh, the main products I wanted to sell up off the ground. Uh, there are still uh, pancakes over there that we can sell, but I couldn't remember, uh, and I didn't want to do it on cam on camera there, or on on the the, the time lapse, I should say. I couldn't remember when it was the best time to sell um, pancakes. Now we have other stuff in here we need to sell as well: sunflower, soybeans, all that stuff. We need to sell it today. It's all best to sell today, or well, around today, I guess I should say. Um, Let's see, where are my pancakes at? With maple syrup. Gotta remember, we gotta look at the ones with maple syrup. Uh, maple syrup is there. That's not what we want. We want pancakes. I just saw it with maple syrup. Uh, February. So we're gonna wait till the next month to sell them. That's what I thought. That's why I didn't want to sell them right now. I thought it was gonna be the next month. Um, so probably two episodes from now we'll sell them. 8,352. Although, 7,948 really isn't bad. Well, actually, that's, that's our same location. I don't think you can sell it there, can you? Maybe you can. Either way, we'll wait until uh, February, though, because that's going to jump up a little bit more. Not a ton, but 500 bucks is 500 bucks, right? So we'll wait. So the only thing left to do here today, gang, uh, is to continue to do some, you know, modifications, minor touch-ups. Um, like, you know, feeding the cows, doing the liquid fertilizer here, which I need to get rid of out of this tanker. Because remember, we were trying a few things there for a while and having issues. So we need to get rid of that. I've also got to move all those. I will move all those over off camera. I think I mentioned that previously, and I didn't do it yet, clearly. So I need to get rid of that as well. I need to clean up all this stuff. It's driving me insane. I would suspect our chickens are about to run out of food there, but they still have food, so who knows how much longer that's going to be. Come on, hopefully we can get rid of all of it here. Perfect. All right, now we can start utilizing this for water again, which we're pretty close to desperately needing, I think. And I still haven't done what I was going to do over there yet, but that will come soon enough, I assure you, soon enough. But like I said, it's it's not really anything crazy, so don't get too excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa just jackknifed it. Don't get too crazy about that one. It's pretty. It's just pretty basic stuff. Um, it's just a plop down production and make more money off of kind of thing. Spend money to eventually make money in the long run. So I think the first thing we're going to do here with this water is we're going to go uh, make sure that our, our cows have enough water, make sure our sheep have enough water. I still got to get rid of those two. I forgot about those two. Dang. Now, the clothes we're not going to sell until March. I think it's March, right? Um, when they're best to sell. We're going to make a bunch of money off of that. So we're going to wait on those. Obviously, we're, you know, money is not really an issue anymore. We could just sell anything at any point. But I'm going to pretty much put everything else on auto-selling. With the exception of clothes. I'm going to wait on the clothes because it's such a drastic change. It's like $15,000 to $30,000. But everything else, I really don't care that much. They, they can just you know sell them as they're ready at this point. Because you know, money's not a concern anymore, like I said. Yeah, they definitely needed some water. Definitely needed some water. Holy smokes, they needed water. They're going to take this whole thing. Wow. Well, I'm glad we came over here and checked on the on the cows. They were probably pretty thirsty. Or it just holds a lot more than I expect. I guess that could be a thing, too. We still have a lot of wool we need to bring over. I think it might be time to consider getting another spinnery of some sort. Uh, that spinnery is just not keeping up at this point. We've got so many sheep... Uh, that it, it is just not keeping up. Alright. Animals are good. Animals are topped up in good shape. So we'll take the rest of this, if I can actually drive properly. Come on, see, get it together, brother. That was terrible. What are you doing? In 
find a location, hopefully, to unload this. There we go. Alright, let that thing do its thing. Perfect. Alright, so really, gang, the only other thing left to do is to try to touch everything else up, right? Touch the, uh, the different productions up, move some milk around, move some, um, you know, um, some of the straw into the, into the, the, for the cows, all that good stuff, right? That's really the only thing left that we have, uh, to do here. So, I think it's time we purchase this plot of land for 147 Done. Now... To do grapes, we have to go into here, and then uh, production orchards. Here we go, and grapevines. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. I'm going to be honest with you all. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it on the flat land down here, and we're just going to make massive rows, just truly gig gigantic rows. Um, I'll we'll start it about there, I guess. It's going to cost a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay, we went too far. <laughs> Alright. I don't even know if I'm straight. Is that straight? Who knows? We'll go with it anyway, even if it's not, we're gonna go with it. So this is going to be a initial upfront, it's gonna be a lot of money here. But that's okay. I mean, each one of these paths we're doing is costing us $31,000. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And I don't plan to do a small amount. I plan to do a ton here. Which is probably good and bad, right? It's... It, it's gonna take a long time to do this. And get a bit annoying. So I'll tell you what, let me get a bunch more of these strands done. I don't know how far down we'll go. Uh, maybe till we get to $200,000, something like that, maybe. And if we want to add more later on, we can do it. Right? Let me get some more of these done. Alright, with the exception of the Harvester Gang, I've spent uh, a bunch of money here and got pretty much everything we need uh, for grape work. So, I'm gonna have to get all this stuff back. Another tractor, obviously, that we've gained here. But I have to get all this stuff back, um... And then, uh... <laughs> we'll we'll fertilize the uh, the grapes there. Look at this little tiny tractor. It's hilarious. All right, gang. Well, I spent uh, all of our money. I spent too much money, um, but that's okay. Uh, basically, what I did was I have not brought everything back yet. I will be bringing most of that stuff back off camera because we don't really need it yet. So uh, I can just do that whenever, right? Uh, but I'll be bringing that back off camera. Uh, I spent all of our money because I put in another row of, uh, grapes, and I spent a little bit too much money doing some terraforming on the land, uh, because I put down a new, um, shed, basically. So, uh, I spent, uh, too much money. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll get the money back, I'm not too concerned about it, we've got enough stuff to really sell that we can get most of the money back. Pretty quickly, because uh, we've got all that crop in there that we're going to sell today, right? A lot of it's dropping in price, so I probably should have already sold it, but that's okay. Uh, the canola, we kind of missed. We were supposed to sell the canola in November. I didn't do that, so we'll just keep the canola for now. The soybeans we'll keep, but everything else we're going to sell in there, uh, with the exception of corn. I think, actually, sunflowers are best next month, so we probably will wait on the sunflowers, too. But everything else that's in there, we're going to go ahead and sell it. Uh, so we'll get a lot of that money back. It certainly won't be $500,000 back, but it will be a good chunk of it back, at least, uh, to help. 
offset some of the overnight costs and things that we may incur here. So let's dump the rest of these red beets in here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into the uh, um, the sprayer here. We're going to get spraying. So uh, let me show you kind of what I did first of all. I built a shed back here. Uh, I really spent too much money expanding the land out here, flattening the land. Uh, but that's okay. Maybe we'll put another something over here. I don't know what we'll put, but maybe we'll put something over there. But regardless, I spent a little bit too much money. Uh, and obviously, I need to spend a little bit more here to flatten that out. But regardless, uh, this will be able to house, you know, some more of our, our grape production uh, equipment. I just thought there would be it'd be nice to have something for the grapes since we're probably going to try to expand the grapes all the way up here uh, to the edge of the hill. Now, we do have that big, massive shed down there that still has plenty of room. I'm not, you know, I'm, I know that, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we're going to leave it be for now. So, I already got this thing filled up, so I believe all I got to do is just kind of... I can turn the beacon off now. I believe all I have to do is just kind of drive down the middle of each of these rows here. And, uh... It should, in theory, fertilize them. So let's turn it off for a second. Let's back up. Let's make sure that I am correct in my statement here. So right now they're 38% fertilized. These should be much higher. 80%. Yep. Good. So we can fertilize those again in the next month, but we'll, uh, we're will we going to get going here. This is going to take a while because this is a very, very, very long path of grapes, and we've got multiples. So uh, I think the best way to do this, and the easiest way to do this, is put a little bit of a mini time lapse in here. So we're going to do that now. We'll get this done, and then uh, it'll be a matter of us re getting the... Uh, uh, the root crop field ready to replant.
All right, they are done for their first fertilization application. Uh, we will have to do it again in the next, well, not the next episode, two episodes from now. Like, well, I don't know, maybe. We might only do one episode here in January, actually, because there's not a whole lot left for us to do now. We, we're kind of out of money, right? If we had more money, certainly we could make ourselves find things to do, but I forgot to take that back. Crap. I gotta do a lot of wor yard work here. Uh, when I say yard work, I mean moving everything back to where they belong and realigning everything. I gotta do a lot of that off camera. I think the reason why I haven't is because I was trying to pump a few of these out before I went on uh, a vacation, right? Before I went on my little uh, retreat away from uh, civilization, if you will. But I'll get it all cleaned up. I'm not too concerned about that. that that'll be an easy thing for me to clean up. Alright, let's put that in there. Perfect. We pretty much didn't use any fertilizer at all out of that thing, so... Uh, that'll be good. It'll be good. We'll be able to keep that for quite a while. I'm just gonna stick this in here. This is another Landini, by the way. Little tiny Landini. Alright. So that's done. So what's next? I believe the next thing we need to do... Is jump into our Massey Ferguson here. Get the seed drill out, but first we've got to cultivate it, but that cultivation will take no time at all now. Uh, as you know, in the last episode, I picked up a wide, a very wide uh, cultivator. Now, that cultivator will not allow us to create new fields, but that's okay. That will save us time whenever we have to cultivate a field, right? It's definitely going to help. Alright. Now. I believe we need to put carrots in the small field. If I remember correctly. But we'll take a look when we get up here. I've got to move some stuff out of the way. I've got a bunch of things in the way here. Just things just laying all over the place. Exactly what I said I don't like and what drives me insane. I've, I've just went ahead and did it anyway. Haven't I? Oh well. Right, let's put this thing away first. Because it's in the way. Let's just make sure I'm correct by my statement. Parsnips there. This is red beets. So that's what it is. Needs to put carrot in there. I think we had the carrots. The, I think that was the most um, root crop we actually had in our soup factory, which is the reason why uh, we did that. Makes sense, I guess, when you think about it. Looks like this tractor is going to need some gas here soon. But this tractor is pretty much dedicated only to doing root crop stuff, so... Just like that small Landini we bought will be dedicated only to doing, um, grapes. Uh, we don't really need that one, but it, we've got so much equipment now, it'll take me forever to get to it, so it's just more of a get to the closest piece of equipment and then walk on over there. I'll try to run on over there, I guess. Did I turn this off? I don't remember turning that off. I guess I did. But with this thing, it's going to just chew through this. I mean, we're going to be done in seconds. And then what I'm going to do is, once we get this all taken care of, I will put a worker on drilling the field. You've seen me drill the field a number of times. Let's go and sell some of that product. Uh, we also need to get the uh, mineral feed into the uh, fish factory as well. well. I talked about that, right? That there were, it's pretty low. It might even be out by now. I don't know for sure. But either way, we need to get that going. realign this. This was terrible. This is a terrible job, Z. I'm rusty, gang. Give me a break. I'm rusty. I've been kind of MA for a little over a week, so gotta get back in the groove here. Gotta get back in the groove. Now, a couple other things to, to mention here, if, if, if you're interested, and, and if you're not, then you can just ignore what I'm getting ready to say, so I've been talking about my, my other channel, the channel that I had created first, originally, before I created this channel. Uh, I kind of have neglected it for a little over a month now, uh, mostly because this channel has kind of taken off and, and I'm really having fun with it, so I've neglected it a little bit, but I am in the process of bringing it back to life a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than what I had been doing before. Before, I had just did 
similar things to kind of what we're doing here, right? Challenge type of series is for different games. Mostly uh, the Dynasty Warriors uh, facet, if, if you know what that is. Uh, it's a game I grew up playing and, and loving since I was little. Uh, all the way back from Dynasty Warriors 2. I actually played the first one on the original PlayStation, but the first one, um, it was mostly like a fighter. I was, I'm not really big into fighter games. Um, but the, when they went to Dynasty Warriors 2, they turned into like a hack and slash type of game. So, love those type of games. Big into them. Um, so I had originally been doing stuff like that, but I did other games too. Like I did, you know, challenges for like GoldenEye and, and just playthroughs in general. Just standard playthroughs. Um, but it just, uh, it was getting a little stale and I just wasn't getting the, the traffic that I, that I wanted. I mean, in, in, long story short, uh, the, the actual effort that was required into putting or into doing those episodes uh, was not worth the amount of views I was getting. Um, so I had to change something. So something had to change. So we're changing it a little bit. So uh, there will still probably be occasionally a, a one-off, you know, series where I do, a, you know, a challenge playthrough or something like that. But your standard just let's play playthroughs are, are, are going to be no more on that, on that channel. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I will play through a game, whatever the game is, doesn't matter, and uh, record it without camera on, without any voiceover. And then I will provide a Z review, is what I'm going to call it. Um, ten minutes or so, maybe less, maybe more, just depends. Depends on the game, depends on how excited I was about it, you know, what I have to talk about. Uh, and and then kind of release that, and then the prior, the, 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 well, not the prior, the, the post, the day after, I will release a full video of my playthrough. Uh, now, again, there will be no talking in it whatsoever. Uh, there will be um, no camera, nothing like that. Just me playing through it with no commentary. Uh, so you can see how I played through it, where I went, and if you're interested in it. And if not, then you literally have that 10 to 15 minute video of, of my review of it on if you should play it or not. So that's kind of the approach we're going to take uh, with that series. I'm not sure if that's something you're interested in or not. If it is, great. If it isn't, uh, then ignore what I just said. But if it is something that you sounds interesting to you and that you want you like other games besides just specifically Farming Simulator, uh, go check it out. Give me a follow. I'm trying to get that channel to a thousand subscribers. It, it, it's uh, <laughs> admittingly I've I've I forgot that that worker's gonna get stuck there. Uh, I've done. Um, I don't know. I've had that channel going for about almost four years now, I think. Um, well, really. I'm, I've had the channel for a lot longer than that, but I really hadn't been posting or, or releasing anything on it. Um, but the biggest problem, I think, has always been with that channel that is it didn't really have a, a real true identity, right? I was doing Farming Simulator games on there. I was doing uh, GoldenEye games, doing Dynasty Warriors games. I was doing racing games. I was doing all kinds of stuff. So it really didn't have a true identity, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to try to rein that in a little bit and give it an identity of playing through games and providing a, a Z review. Uh, now, my reviews are going to be probably different than what uh, you typically expect. Uh, I'm not an expert at reviewing or anything like that, but uh, I have done a little bit of that prior. And what I mean by that is I, I did, I don't know, um, like 8 to 10 smaller uh, playthroughs. I'm going to leave the rest in there for the chickens. Um, of cheap games. So I had called it the cheap game challenge and what it really boiled down to was I was playing games that cost no more than five dollars. Uh, even if they were on sale. Like if they were on sale, like I say it's a twenty dollar game and it was on sale for four ninety nine, well that would be included. Um, anything that was five dollars or less I would play through it for a little while and then provide my initial thoughts on it if I thought it was worth five dollars of your time or uh, if I thought it was, you know, crap and you should just skip it all together. And it did okay. It, it, I wouldn't say it was it, good by any means as far as, you know, traffic, but uh, there would it would get some views. So we're basically going to take that and it kind of expand on it. Uh, instead of doing cheap game challenges, we're going to bring it to full game experiences. So, um, single player games, right? Single player playthrough games. So, that's kind of the approach we're taking there. That's kind of where we're going with it. Um, so if it is something that sounds interesting to you that you want to hear about, or want to watch, again, please uh, go give it a follow. It'd help me out greatly as I try to get to a thousand. I've got like 807, I think. 807 subscribers after four years is a little disheartening, I guess. 
so we're we're trying to uh, change it up a little bit, trying to trying to make it a little bit better, and, and hopefully get uh, get a little more interaction going on in that. So. So we just made some money back there off the wheat. Um, we're going to put a few more things in here. I was not actually a whole lot in here, really, to sell, honestly. Um, but there's some. There's some. No, we'll just run right into it. Go ahead, Z. Big tires. Dual leaser. Screwing with me. Uh, we don't want to put the canola in. We said that already. The sunflowers are best next month, so we should wait on that. Soybeans, we should wait on... Uh, is there anything else in here? That might be already ha all we had. I thought we had more than that, but I get well, we had the straw, but we're saving that for the for the cows, right? So I guess that's it. I thought we had more than that, but I guess not. I guess I was completely wrong. So ignore everything I said. We're going to keep the rest of the wheat, like I said, for the chickens. Canola, we need to wait to sell because it's best in November. We've missed that. Unfortunately, we missed that. Sunflowers next month, so they will be sold. If we do two episodes in January, which I don't think we will, um, it'll be sold in, in the February, first February, uh, video. Soybeans, those are the middle of summer, not best to sell. Let's fill this up, though. We can at least, uh, fill up the, um, the fish farm with the corn, because we need corn for that. So let's just fill this sucker up, and, and we'll dump in there whatever it'll take. And then, uh, we need to get our, um, Volvo over here, and, uh, get the mineral feed in there, because the mineral feed is, is very low if it's not... It might even be empty, as a matter of fact. The weird thing is I have that one pallet there, but it doesn't accept it unless it's in the air. I don't know why that is. I guess that's just the way that the trigger works for this for this mod, but um, in any case, it doesn't. All right, took all the corn. I kind of expected it to, honestly. So I, I talked about already that I have a lot of cleaning up around the yard to do because leaving stuff everywhere just kind of drives me insane. Uh, I like watching Daggerwind, but that's one of my things that, that drives me insane from him, is he just leaves stuff everywhere, and I'm, I'm doing the same thing, so I'm, I'm being very hypocritical right now, I guess, but uh, I will have it cleaned up before the next episode. It will be cleaned up. Everything will be cleaned up. Everything. Even this stuff that's just laying around. Um, I, I have an idea. I, well, I, need, I probably need more money than what I currently have to do the idea. But I have an idea to try to clean those up and, and make it a little easier on myself. I don't think it's probably going to work as much as I want it to, unfortunately. But we're going to attempt to try it anyway. And we'll see. See there? <laughs> Just, it won't accept it for some reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. But it won't. It's very weird. Now, I don't know if it's going to take all of this or not. It might uh, get full. But hopefully it does. It does. So let's take a look and see how much more it needs then. Maybe it needs a lot more than I'm thinking. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my fish farm at? Maple syrup. Fish. Yeah, it needs a lot more than I thought. It might have been empty, actually, gang. It very well might have been empty. So we're probably going to have to, you know, sort buying some more mineral feed here soon as well. Which means we're going to actually finally use our our trailer that we have yet to use for a while. Well, I say yet to use. We've used it, but we haven't used it for a while. That was a bit dangerous there, wasn't it? A bit perilous. A little overhang really messed with me there. Messed with me there. Uh, it probably won't take all of this, but we'll see what it takes. Oh, okay. I was going to say... It's going to take it all, but nope. It did not take it all. Alright, well, we're going to leave that there. That way it can just fill up as it needs to be. And let's see, how's the other worker doing for the drill? Oh, he's done. Nice. Alright, the only final thing left to do today, gang, is just to fertilize this field. That's it. Once we fertilize that field, we're done. Now, we have some animal stuff we could do uh, today if we wanted to, but... We're, uh, we're not going to, uh, worry about that right now. I need to probably put another shed over here at this point, I think. Uh, since we're leaving the Volvo over here now. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to put everything away. I promise when we start the next episode, everything will be where it should be. It'll be kosher, everything will be neat, tidy, organized, sorted, all that good stuff.
This one will be quick and easy here, gang. So with that, gang, we're going to leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button if you did. That's the easiest and best way to help the channel out. Gets the video out to more people. Uh, which in return, hopefully, results in more subscribers for me. Uh, and if you happen to be watching this and you aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. It's free. Helps me a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I'm happy to get back to you on those. I try to get back to every single one of you. Uh, whenever I do see a, a comment, but make sure you keep me honest if I if I do miss something or if I have replied to you and said that I would get you an answer and I've yet to do so, make sure you let me know. Um, you know, busy busy times right now, a lot of things going on, so I, I certainly could have something slip my mind. So, uh, not 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 like I'm I'm meaning to do that, but you know, if I did, let me know. I'll make sure I get the answer for you that you need or whatever. Uh, sometimes YouTube also does not uh, notify me. Whenever I uh, get a reply from one of you sometimes. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Uh, so I try to every once in a while, every couple of weeks, or every week or so, whenever whenever I have the ability, the availability and the time, I try to go through and you know look back at the last week or two of, of videos and make sure there's nothing that I'm missing where I didn't get a, a follow-up reply to you or whatever you were looking for. But um, again, I'm not perfect, so make sure you keep me honest on that. But... Yeah, we're going to leave the episode there, gang. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, until next time, I'll catch you all in the next episode.